Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And yes, I do realize that I look a little weird, but I promised you a update on the cornstarch powder routine. So it's been a week. It's actually Saturday and I'm doing a simple face because I'm just headed to the mall to look for some Christmas gifts. And this is a cornstarch that I picked up from Walmart. 100% pure. I wanted to get one with absolutely nothing else in it. And so this is the one I picked up and on my um, Walmart receipt, it was actually a dollar forty-eight for that cornstarch, so it's really, really cheap. That's a huge tub that's gonna last me a while. I actually put some in this little container right here, so that'll be easier for me to get. And I usually use my brush or a sponge, and I just I do it before my foundation, and then I do it after my foundation while I'm getting dressed, and then I come back and I brush it off. So I have a big fluffy brush here, and I had some on my forehead, but I just come back. When I'm done and I'm actually ready to go and I brush it off of my face and I am good to go and even my work routine my beat face my contour my highlight I do that afterwards and I brush it off and I am ready to go I will tell you what I found uh, besides my allergies bothering me today um, I will tell you what I found I found that I can actually I'm sorry you guys my allergies are really killing me but I wanted to get this video done I found that I can actually get longer with this I've actually made it about even at work when I do my makeup at 7 in the morning I actually make it to about 2 or 2 30 before I need to blot and most of the time it's just my nose so I will tell you guys this right here this is going to be a staple for me a dollar fifty for that big old tub staple I don't need to buy anything else you guys can try it however you want to as you know the first time I did mix it in my foundation and that had my foundation a little blotchy you can try it but I don't recommend mixing it in a liquid foundation if you use a powder foundation then you can go ahead and mix it in with your powders and you won't have that effect but if you're using a liquid or cream to powder foundation you may experience blotchiness in your application so that is why I apply it before I do my primer I do some powder, I do my face, I do some more powder, and then I set it and I'm done. I am going to spray my face still, and I am still spraying my face with setting sprays. Um, I haven't sprayed my face yet, but this is just, you know, a simple foundation look for running out on Saturday. The sun is out, but it's still in like 50s, 60s, and I am making it about six hours or so before I need to blot. And normally I have to blot all right here, all right here, my nose, my... I have found that now it's just my nose. It is absolutely amazing. If you want to try it, try it for yourself. I use Milka Magnesia. As you can see there, I have tons of things to help combat oily skin. And I still only make it about three or four hours in a day. And I have to blot like twice a day. With this, I have to blot one time a day. I can't even begin to explain how this thing works. I'm going to try it so many different ways with so many different tricks because I am going to master the master of the cornstarch and once again this is the cornstarch you can get it at Walmart, Publix, probably anywhere um, and this is the 100% pure one there are different ones you don't have to get this one I just wanted one that did not have any interference with it whatsoever so I wanted to make sure it said 100% pure cornstarch if you try this tag me on Instagram tag me in a video I want to know how it works out for you I'm gonna to continue to put this baby to use and then I'll feature it in my either December or January favorites if I still love it and it's still working for me at that time I really can't wait till the summertime to see what kind of effect this is gonna have on me so you guys stay tuned thank you for joining me thank you to all of those that wanted a video regarding this and wanted to know how it worked out I really appreciate you so far so good it's a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time